Have you experienced this? You have created a really cool sketch of your character. You're so proud of it that you want to color it. So you proceeded to do the line art and after you finished, you noticed that something wasn't quite right. The line art looks worse than the sketch. What the heck happened? I'll tell you what happened after this one second intro. Alright, in order to demonstrate this, I have created this nice character sketch. What do you think? It looks really awesome, right? Let's ink this. I'll be using the single stroke method for this one. If you'd like to learn more about different styles of line art, feel free to click the eye icon on the top of the screen. So here's the finished line art. Hmm, it doesn't look good, does it? Here's why. The main reason is because of the mindset that inking, line art, or cleanup is merely just tracing the sketch and that is absolutely mm. wrong. Doing the line art is not tracing the sketch but improving the sketch. You see, when we're sketching, we tend to not be super intricate with the details. And because of the scratchy line nature of the sketch, we never really see these oversights until we do the line art and because the lines are cleaner, these mistakes will show up. Which is why merely tracing will make the drawing worse. The solution? Don't follow the sketch. I know this is strange advice but hear me out here. Since we use scratchy lines in sketches, you tend to get confused on how you would clean this up and where the lines would fall. And if you just blindly trace, the lines will tend to get wonky. So what we're gonna do is draw based on the shape of the sketch has form. I'm gonna try to explain it properly but if you have any questions or you're confused with something leave it in the comments below and i will try to answer that to demonstrate i have sketched a simple oval shape you can tell it's a nice oval because of the thick scratchy lines let's say i want to clean this up using the single stroke style i mentioned before so if we just trace some of the lines fall on the inner part of the sketch line some go to the outer part and the result well it looks like an oval but it's a very wonky oval and that's not what we want now instead of tracing let's just draw a solid oval oval as best as we could using the sketch as a guide. Look how much better this is. Let's apply it to our sketch earlier. See how drawing solid shapes and curves make the drawing more appealing? Make use of the undo command if you think the lines don't look right. I'll never get tired of saying this but pay attention to the volume of the character, particularly on the clothing folds and sleeves. Really, always think 3D even if what we're doing is 2D artwork. Check the videos in the description for more videos regarding this. This is also the opportunity opportunity to flesh out little details we never bothered when sketching like this thing right here. So let's just take our time and draw it until it looks good. When you're drawing an object that is hidden behind another object like say this part right here, you can draw through it so that you can make out the shapes clearer. It's more ideal to do this in digital since you can take advantage of being able to erase the lines. Every now and then, look at your drawing from afar by zooming out so that you can see the overall picture. You'll be able to see any mistakes when you're looking at it from a distance rather than zoomed in. Another thing you can do is mirror the image. Some mistakes tend to show up if you flip the image so go ahead and fix them. The most important thing is you keep on practicing and applying these tricks on artworks you drew so that it becomes muscle memory. I know it can be quite challenging to check your own drawings for mistakes so I have made a couple of pointers on what you should look out for in a drawing in order to improve it. Click this video to find out what they are.